This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Okay, so one of the coolest things, uh, Mark Tremonti actually follows me on Instagram, uh, apparently, which is bizarre to me. So I grew up uh, in a church, essentially, and so Creed was one of the first bands that me and my brother in our band used to cover some of their tunes. Um, and one of the few CDs that I also owned was Alter Bridge. I had an album um, of theirs, and... Yeah, this was one of my favourite tunes on it that I'm playing today, sort of like in Loving Memory Summer. Kind of my take on some parts of that tune, which I think still today is an amazing tune. But I watched uh, a bit of a rig rundown with Mark's more recent rig. I had someone ask if I could check out some Mark Tremonti style tones. Um, I'm not going to tell you that this is the most accurate or anything like that, but if I was working with the Helix and trying to get in the ballpark here, uh, I can show you what I did to get here. So we'll start with our clean. I'm running a compressor at, at the front here. I don't think Mark necessarily does that, um, but that's kind of the settings that I have going on here. The Red Squeeze, MXR Dynacomp, sensitivity at 3.8, mix at 83%, and the level at plus 6.8. If you follow the path along, this is then going into a US double norm, which is a Fender Twin. Now, the reason that I've gone for this is because I recognise that Mesa Boogies, their clean channel is very much blackface Fender vibes. And then also in the video where he's breaking down what the PRS MT100 does, he uses the Fender Twin as the reference point. So. So we've got the drive here at 5.3, um, the bass at 6.1, the mids at 6, the treble at 6, presence at 2.9, channel volume at 10, and master at 10. And then we go into a low high shelf. So this is giving it a little bit more low end kind of response. Another idea might be to check out the PRS, PRS Archon for, for basically all of these kind of tones. He's using a PRS amp in general, so that might be a good place to start. Uh, low high shelf, 10 point plus 5 dB uh, at 149 hertz. Okay, then the cab that I've decided to use is one that I use for quite a lot of stuff, not really based on anything. I know Mark does use uh, a Mesa Boogie with a V30 in it generally, I think that's right. Um, but I'm using a 67 condenser here with a high cut at 5 kilohertz for this particular snapshot. Position 3.9, just a quite a full. Now, in terms of what Mark actually does, he uses a G-Lab smooth delay, which is kind of on all the time. Um, I'm not, he also has like a wet dry setup as well. So it's kind of a little bit difficult to, to fully get totally in the ballpark. I'm using my normal kind of dual delay settings here, um, but I think go for a digital delay. He also apparently has it in sync. So uh, like Justin Timberlake, the um, straightforward quarter notes is what he uses, but here I'm also using the Glitz reverb. So these are kind of my typical-ish ambient settings that I've gone for here just because I don't have a G-Lab smooth delay. I guess that's a digital delay, so dual delay isn't too far off. But he's also not going kind of stereo. But the Glitz reverb is there really because myself and you watching this video may be slight, playing slightly smaller venues than uh, Mark Tremonti. Now, the mid gain kicks on a clon. So gain at six, tone at four, level at 6.1 and then goes into the Line 6 Litigator. So this is sort of getting towards the territory of his second channel on the MT100, which is more Dumble inspired, hence using the Litigator. Drive at five, bass at five, mids at 5.3, treble at 6.3, presence at 3.4, channel volume at 7.8, and the master at seven.
and that can do... Some of that stuff. Um, nothing else really changes too much. Uh, so that's kind of the mid-gain thing, trying to do that Dumble thing, which he's kind of added more latterly to his career. <laughs> part of his rig these days now huge drive the idea with this was to get something that's going to get somewhat close to that prs uh mt100 and it sounded to me sort of 5150 ish um you know that his drive tones are, uh, over the years been provided by dual rectifiers triple rectifiers and also uh bogner uberschall so i decided to go with the rev gen red and sort of set it somewhat similar to his drive channel um watching the rig run down again it's kind of yeah so five kilohertz still for that and then we're using the rev gen red 4.6 drive base at 5.1 mids at 4.9 treble at 5.1 presence at 4.8 channel volume at 8.4 and the master at five and the resonance up to 5.8 the aggression all the way and that gives us <laughs> So, kind of like a big rhythm tone. Also worth noting, there is a bit of delay on still. Just taken down to 10% and a little bit of reverb there too. Um, I, from what I've heard, Mark Tremonti doesn't like to play totally dry. <laughs> And that's also going to be the basis for our lead tone. Clon's on there too. Um, and then the lead tone, basically for me, to, to be more comfortable playing it, I've taken the, the left mix and right mix back up again on the delay and a bit of the reverb again. I'm going to be playing smaller venues. I don't think Mark actually uses reverb in general live. Uh, we turn on the compressor, turn on the clon, and the mids go up to 5 from 4.9 and the channel volume goes up to 9.2. <laughs> Something like how I would approach it, um, you know, I'm no expert on Mark Tremonti. Uh, I, as a kid, definitely loved his playing loads, uh, loved this song in particular. And that's, I think, how I would try and tackle some of his more modern tones. I think you're going to need a wah pedal in there as well. I did this in native, so uh, if I was going to be choosing a wah, something Morley-esque. But he also boosts the wah, so if you're going to be doing that... Um, however you end up doing it, maybe throaty, but also chuck some level at it as well. Um.
anyway, I've just broken the no wire embargo on my channel. Um, but yeah, that's how I would tackle it. If you want these tones, I've called them Tremonti Trio, you know, because there's that trio of amps that he's kind of now got into that one PRS amplifier. So this one was a request. I hope this gives you some tones that you at least enjoy jamming along to some of that stuff with. I think it will get you in the ballpark. Um, yeah, hopefully. I'll catch you in another video soon. Gummer is a place to find this preset, which will work for Helix and Helix Native. Cheers.